All right. So, everybody, welcome to another episode of Gaming Mundo. Um, today we're going to be testing RetroArc, which is a emulator. Um, it's actually, so as you see, there's like, they have MAME, um, Nintendo, you know, the NES, Game Boy, Color Advanced, DS, um, 64, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, that's a Master System, Game Gear, Mega Drive, CD, which is uh, pretty much Genesis, and some other ones, um, Game Gear being the handheld, um, anyways, uh, Sony PlayStation, PlayStation 2 even, haven't tried that, PSP, uh, the PlayStation Portable, so you, you, you install these cores, they're called cores, so um, you can go ahead and play different things. So um, actually, I'm going to do, let's do NES. So let's see here if it's the same. So from my understanding, Z and X are A and B. Um, enter is start and shift is select and then you're going to be using the up down left and right arrows let's see if i got that right all right good old glass joe put his glass jaw and uh There you go. Aha! So I still remember how to do it. Um, so yeah, so Z and X on the keyboard are going to be your A and B. Um... Oh, whoops. I, I was not expecting that. The alternating is the way to go. Um, and that'll pretty much do it. Um, So let's keep it moving here. Um, I'm wondering if I got it wrong, if shift isn't the select key, because I thought, well, maybe it's the start key. Because cool, you, you need to hit, I think, I thought it was select, but maybe it's start to use the star. Still seem to remember the uh, rhythm a little bit there, so that's good. Let's see if we can not. Yeah, all right. So, um, who's your favorite uh, Punch Out character? Um, you know, whether it be Don. What is it? Uh, Honda, what was his name? Piston Honda. Um, there was, uh, who else? Um, Glass Joe, Bald Bull, Soda Popinski, um, Don Flamingo. Right? So, I mean, there's, there's, there's quite a few of them, um, which obviously they kind of like recirculate them, right? So. 
Let's see if I can get through, get this first, uh, yeah, Piston Honda. Let's see if I can get this first one, and I don't know if I remember exactly how to do this. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's see if the fingers uh, remember exactly how this all goes. I think it's a... It's, uh, but it's all always going to be a bit of a... Um, yeah, so it is, it is the start key then, um, which actually ends up giving it to you. Oh. Um. Uh-oh. I don't remember this. There you go. Woof! I did remember it. Hit him right in the gut when he comes back down. Um. Okay. So, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Alright, we got this. We got this. Alright, and so when he comes back down, what I'm going to do is... Um, sometimes he'll give me that chance again, I think, to give, hit him in the gut. Or is it... Uh, man, I don't remember exactly. There you go. So at least I got a big hit on him. That's what I wanted. And there we go. There it is. And that'll be a TKO right there. Boom. First round. All three. So look. All right. So there you have it. Um, went ahead and knocked through the first three round or first three fights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out just because um, I don't want to. Um, I'm not even going to save it. I just. Um, I haven't done this part yet. I'm not sure. Look, they have cheats and all kinds of stuff. So, um, awesome. All right. So it lets you, okay. So let's try something else on the NES. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, look at that elevator action. Let's go with that. How many of you guys remember elevator action? Um, this was one of the games that I did play quite a bit. Um, I'm going to just do one player. I don't remember. I, I know that there's a key to shoot. You pretty much duck, run right and left. Okay, so we got a jump key as well. So... there's a particular um, way to do this or not. I can't really remember. I know you have to... Uh, I think you could even shoot the um, the light spoon. That's yeah. Alright. So you had to make it to this red door, right? Oh yeah, that's okay. Is that how it went? I don't remember. Oh, okay, because that's what the package is, right? That's exactly, okay. Alright, so... So, we need to... Is it... So... Uh... Yeah, I remember it was like a... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I really don't remember it quite as well as I hoped I would remember it. Uh, That was close. 
Oh, he got me. <laughs> All right, so that was a little fun. Um, we'll go ahead and load something else. Ooh, Legend of Zelda. I mean, what better game to really give this a try? Um, I think that's a great game. Um, you all know. You all already know. Your boy Mundo. Um, and let's go all right i never understood did he like just take it and actually kill the guy with his own sword so it's kind of brutal Like, that's not the way you should conduct your business, you know? Um, never understood what those things were either. These little things that shoot balls out of their mouth. Um, do they come out later in one of the later games? Like, that same enemy? Um trying to press B like as if I had the boomerang already. I don't. Um, but I mean, as you see, it runs super smooth. Um, I always like this enemy because they, they, they give you rupees pretty frequently. Um, and I mean, obviously I don't need the fairy. Is this already a thing? Oh no, you can't use move stones till later when you collect um, the ring, right? The ring. Um, that gives you the power, essentially. But I mean, I just really, w what we're doing is we're trying to just show how smooth they run on this emulator. Um, given your, you know, your system can obviously make a big difference, but, um, I mean, realistically, it's, it's an emulator, it's not going to take a whole lot, um, it's, it's not going to be, like, you know, uh, performance heavy. Now, that being said, though, um, what you can play is definitely going to depend on what your system looks like. So in my case, where I can probably run um, PlayStation games rather smooth, uh, um, where I can run them rather smooth, um, it's not going to be the same case for a lot of other people. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know... Um, would definitely say that uh, anybody should be able to run these kind of games um, at these speeds um, without any issues, um, honestly speaking. But, um, other back. And um, without any, any problems whatsoever. Um, but it, it's fun, it's nostalgic, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little feel of that. I wanted to give you guys a little, um, just so that you guys understand, um, you know, what, what you're essentially doing, you, you run, you run an emulator, it, it makes the computer act like, you know, one of the old systems, in this case, an NES. I'll go ahead and be trying other video games, um. Not only other NES games, but other Sega games, other... Perhaps, I'm not probably going to get too into the arcade games. Um, it's not big time nostalgia for me with the arcade games, because a lot of the big arcade games later on became console hits anyways. The big arcade games for me were the things like you can jump on, right? So like Cruising USA, Cruising World, right? All that, Cruising California, whatever it was called. Um... And 
but you know the the motorcycle games the games that had the guns those were the things in the arcade that attracted me um because a lot of the other stuff you could play on the console right so as i did play things like street fighter um on an arcade machine i think the biggest one actually for me and for some reason i can't find um an emulator that can run it properly is uh, time traveler if anybody finds an emulator out there that runs time traveler and runs it good and smooth please let me know in the comments below um, if you guys are familiar with time traveler it's an awesome game uh, you play like it's cowboy who starts traveling through time um, pretty cool game um, I never made it all the way through so it's it's kind of one of those where it's like it's like it plays itself out, so all you have to do is make decisions at the right times. So whether you shoot, whether you duck, roll, left or right, um, all those kind of things play it play into you know you obviously making it to the next um, stage or, or little clip or whatever you you want to call it. But um, great game. But no, I'm going to be checking out, um, and actually I'm going to do another video where. I want to see how it runs and handles my computer, how it handles later games, right? So maybe PlayStation, PlayStation 2, N64 even. Um, let's see how my system can deal with those things. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see, you guys let me know. Give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Talk to you guys later.